Greetings one and all. Welcome back to my kitchen here today. Where, um, yeah, it's the uh, officially the winter solstice. It's the middle of, um, uh, well here in the southern hemisphere anyway. It's the longest day of the year. And sometimes the coldest day of the year. So we've been getting some cold weather. It's not too bad today. But yeah, as you can see, I've got the old um, slow cooker out. The crock pot out again. I'm going to be doing another, I guess, winter dish slow cooker dish another easy one but um, hopefully a tasty one so this is um, slow cooked beef bites or steak bites yeah steak bites I think it's good um, yeah with a spicy garlic lemon flavor I guess and in my slow cooker there I've already sliced up some lemon and I'm just gonna layer the bottom with those slices quite generously. There's a couple of lemons there. I'm just gonna, yeah, like I say, lay the bottom. We're not necessarily gonna eat all this lemon. It's just gonna be a lot of flavor. All right, next, I've got my um, steak bites that I've already cut into cubes. What all I've done with those uh, I'll quickly show you as I just season them really well with salt and pepper and I've browned them in the fry pan and I'm just going to sit them on top of those lemons You can see like yeah just into cubes bite-sized cubes got some nice caramelization on top but there's still this is um chuck steak you know stewing steak which will withstand the slow cook now just throw it in and any of those resting juices just get them in as well including the ones from my fry pan When I was searing them, I just yeah, move them around, sort of almost in one layer on top of those steak bites. That's pretty good. Now again earlier, I've mixed up uh, in my little processor, I've mixed up some garlic, ginger, and some habanero chilies along with a little lemon juice. Got a lot of garlic. 14 cloves. <laughs> Part of the reason I'm making this is to use up excess um, garlic that I had. Now I've got three of my large habanero chilies. This is ones that look like this. And I know from experience from where I brought those from, they are quite spicy. I've got a massive knob. Of ginger. In actual fact, I'm just going to cut that up a little bit more. And I've just got the juice of one lemon. Just going to sprinkle that all over the top of my steak. Kind of spread it a little bit if you want. You don't have to be too pedantic about it. But yeah, if there's a little bit on each bit of steak, that's probably a good thing. All right, I'm just going to get that onto the slow cook. On low for about six to eight hours. We'll check it after six. 
but yeah, probably closer to eight. All right, I'll see you a bit later. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, I've pulled some of my um, spicy lemon garlic steak bites out of the uh, slow cooker. They're, um, yeah, they were feeling really soft to touch. It has been eight hours. So yeah, they've had a good, long, slow cook. At about the three and a half hour mark, I showed you, I did just drizzle a little bit of honey over the top of them, just to give a little bit of... Um, sweetness and caramelization to the top as the top started sort of the slow cooker starts acting almost like a, a little mini oven so you get that um, caramelization on the top a little bit like let's have a look and the light's not too good here now but we'll see if we can see what's going on here like so and I've stuck some toothpicks in it because this is just another good little finger food. And like I say, they're bites. And I'm going to treat them as such. Let's try it. Mmm. Really nice. Really, um, yeah, garlicky. Really good hit of chilli. Those um, habaneros are, like I said at the start, are really spicy now what you can do if you want if you like a little bit of um, extra hit of lemon is get some of your lemon that's sort of coming apart on the bottom of the slow cooker let's have a look at that too what the so if you love lemon and lemon flavor just whack little bits on top of your steak like that it'll also help um, moisten your mouthful. Let's try it like that. Ah, oh, wow. And, um, yeah, that's my favourite way of doing it. That I like that extra hit of lemon. It's lemony anyway, but, um, wow. Woohoo! Those chilies are hot. <laughs> Maybe, if you don't like spicy, Maybe just put one of those chilies in. I like it like that, but I, I'm sure not everyone will. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks everyone who subscribed to the channel. Love you guys. You know that you're awesome. If you're not a subscriber and you're watching this, first of all, thanks for watching. Welcome to the channel. Um, if you can hit that subscribe button, that'd be awesome. Uh, but yeah, like if you don't want to, no worries. Just check out some of the other videos. That'd be really helpful. And I will see you all next time.